So when we talk about cyber knife, uh, the people will always think that where is the knife? This is, we call it as a non-invasive method of uh, uh, radio surgery. Like we use, we don't use any knife for cutting or anything. Here the high dose of radiation is used for the precisely to the tumor. It's almost with high precision. It's like a knife accuracy. This is cyber knife. Actually, it is a linear axillator, linear axillator motor on a robotic arm. The robotic is on as a six inches. And we have a table, it is actually which moves in six directions. X, Y, Z, Ya picture row. Even the rotation layers are taken into care in this system. And we have a continuous tracking with the help of the X-rays, which is mounted on a 90 degrees orthogonal X-rays. Here, actually when, when a patient is already planned, we usually do the PET CT scan planning for all our patients, PET CT and MRI based uh, planning for all patients. And when the patient comes on, uh, uh, lie down on the couch with the minimal uh, immobilization device, this moves and exactly to the area where we want to target, which is tracked with the help of uh, the X-rays, orthogonal X-rays, with high precision. When we are we're comparing with the words, uh, the planning scans, what is already done, that accuracy it is tracked in such a way that we are talking about sub millimeter accuracy here with eye precision and in all directions. So they, when with the help of the robotics, that precision is achieved. And there is a continuous tracking of the tumor and continuous delivery of the radiation to the precise area. To the uh, area of the target and the normal structures gets very very less dose. The tumor which moves with the respiration and whenever there is a movement of the uh, tumor uh, by itself we can track the tumor in all the phases of the respiration. We also track with the, uh, the respiration is tracked by the help of the respiratory tracking method. The cyber knife tracking method is usually uh, we have a different tracking system. One is a skull based that is skull based tracking and excite spine tracking. Wherever there is a soft tissue, we put gold seeds and soft tissue tracking of the tumor accurately. And the tumor which moves with the respiration, especially with the lung, the, uh, the liver and the pancreas, we use the respiratory tracking, will continuously track the pattern of the respirator, respiration and will track also synchronized with the visual tracking and continuously treat the patient very very accurately. So with this I can deliver the high dose of deliver the radiation which is we call it as an ablative dose, stereotactic uh, body like radiotherapy or radiation uh, ablative doses which effectively treat the tumor and the surrounding structures gets very very less dose. With this there are a lot of advantages to the patient. Because of high dose of delivery of radiation so the treatment is very very effective. When the tumor cells dies, it produces it uh, uh, like produces lot of antigens inside the bloodstream, and there are antibodies which is developed which acts on the cancer cells across. So we call it as immunomodulation the effect of the uh, radio stereotactic body radiotherapy, and also it acts for abscopal effect. It can goes and acts on the other cells these antibodies and take care of the uh, all over the body, the tumors across the body. So there is always a question that what are the types of tumor we want to treat with cyberneck? It's a sophisticated technology. It started with the brain tumors. It actually can treat the benign tumors in the brain or in some other parts of the body. It can also treat the functional tumors like uh, trisomy neuralgia and some of the Parkinson's or motion like any of the uh, motor diseases and its main use is in oncology for the cancer patients. This can be used as a radical treatment that is that in the early stages of the lung cancers or liver or including pancreas it can treat very effectively and what we call it as a radical treatment. In brain tumors like it's especially like pituitary adenomas or there is a recurrent tumors in the brain where inaccessible tumors so in the brain or any other parts of the body it can treat those tumors very very effectively. The patients who are already treated by normal radiations 
where there is a recurrence or re-radiation is, is not possible in the normal circumstances. The re-radiation is very, very possible in case of cyber knife. So that is one of the biggest advantages. And the largest volumes of tumor, where the chemotherapy is already given, particularly the tumor is increasing, those patients can be effectively treated with cyber knife. Now we are talking about the oligometastasis. Even there is a stage four disease, it can be effectively treated with the cyber knife. We, especially in prostate cancer, liver cancers and lung cancers and breast cancers, where the tumor is going in a different places, up to three to five areas, we call it as oligometastasis. Treating the primary and the metastatic site effectively with cyber knife is very, very uh, uh, useful. And it also can be combined with the other modalities, including chemotherapy and combination with immunotherapy with SPRT is coming up in a big way nowadays. Because of its eye precision, the, uh, even the tumors which is uh, in the prostate or an eloquent area can be treated very well. And the, the patients of all ages, including the pediatric patients to the geriatric, all patients can be treated very effectively. Because of its eye precision and effective treatment, the tumor control is better and the quality of life of the patient is very, very good. So they tolerate the treatment better. So it's a very effective treatment in that way. Stereotactic radio surgery or stereotactic body radiotherapy is usually delivered either by one fraction, three or five fractions, sometimes up to six to seven fractions. The, it can still treat more than one areas in a different organs. We can treat it effectively. So those are the main advantages of CyberKnife.